Perdana Menteri Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim menegaskan sekali lagi bahawa kerajaan di bawah pimpinannya mengamalkan pendekatan sifat toleransi terhadap salah laku dan rasuah. Beliau memberi jaminan bahawa kerajaan akan mempertahankan standar etika tertinggi dan tidak akan ada ruang untuk penyalahgunaan kuasa di bawah pentadbirannya. Katanya sebarang pelanggaran akan ditangani dengan serius tanpa rasa takut atau pilih kasih. Beliau berkata demikian pada Invest Malaysia, Anjuran Bursa Malaysia dan Maybank pada Rabu. To start rebuilding confidence in our future, we must be honest about the problems that we face today. I have said this many times and I will repeat it here again. The government adopts a zero tolerance approach towards misconduct and corruption. We will uphold the highest ethical standards and there will be no room for abuse of power under this administration. Any breaches will be severely dealt with. Whether you are Tone or Tan Sri, regardless, whether you are with this government or with the opposition, we will act without fear or favour. Now, good corporate governance must remain the basis on which businesses, companies and shareholders operate. It is also necessary to ensure that good governance provides robust safeguards for investor protection and the stability of financial and capital markets. Of course, we need full support from the Securities Commission and Brusa. The Blanjawan Madani, for example, laid down the foundation of a Malaysia that I and my colleagues and other Malaysians have longed and vision. A Malaysia Madani that put Malaysians respect of race or creed, especially the poor, the marginalized and the vulnerable at the heart of its development. For the uninitiated, allow me to address the thrust behind Malaysia Madani. And I'm impressed because this has been fully grasped by the earlier two speakers. But the vision is designed to revive, renew, and re-energize sustainability, prosperity, innovation, respect, trust, and compassion. And we aim to reshape the narrative of our country based on three priorities. Growth, reform, and justice. 